Hi there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training company PassMyInterview.com and in this tutorial I will teach you how to pass a business analyst interview. Now in particular I'm going to give you some important tips to make sure you score highly during your business analyst interview and I'm also going to give you a number of sample interview questions that I believe are going to come up during your interview and high scoring answers. So please do stick around if you have a business analyst interview coming up. Now before I get into those tips and the interview questions and answers, a very warm welcome to this tutorial. My name is Richard McMunn and I've been helping people for about 20 years now to pass their interviews and I do that by giving you top scoring answers, unique answers that you can't find anywhere else. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video then you won't miss out on any of the weekly training videos that I'm uploading and I would also very much appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up a like that always motivates me to create more content thank you very much now in preparation for your business analyst interview please do make sure that you aim to demonstrate the following skills qualities and attributes these are really important demonstrate that you have excellent business analytical skills that's really important an understanding of the project life cycle process now even though you are not um, as a business analyst a firm project manager you do need to have an understanding of the project life cycle process you have to also be able to conduct organizational gap analysis um, and I'll explain what that is as we go through this tutorial. But also, once you've done that analysis, implement the findings to reach the objectives of the business um, you are working for. You should also have outstanding interpersonal and communication skills because you're going to be dealing with people from across the organization. Um, also able to assess, process and determine requirements and also deliver data-driven recommendations. So those are the things that I'm going to be focusing on when we go through now my sample business analyst interview questions and answers. So please do take notes as we progress through these. If you don't want to take notes, that's fine. I will tell you at some stage where you can download my full set of 25 answers to tough business analyst interview questions. So the first interview question during your business analyst interview is going to be the tell me about yourself interview question. What I've done here is I've integrated a little bit more, which is tell me about yourself and why you think you are suited to the role of business analyst, because that assesses whether you understand exactly what forms part of the business analyst role. Here is my suggested answer. I am a highly efficient and effective business analyst who can be relied upon to work towards achieving the organisational objectives defined by you, the senior management team. Now, with a proven track record of effectiveness and a keen desire to make a rapid and successful impact, the business analyst skills I use will, I feel, be attractive to your company. As your business analyst, I will gather and disseminate all necessary information that will help me meet the key objectives of your organization. I will create a solid strategic business development plan based on the information and data that I gather. I will also identify opportunities for your business to grow quickly whilst instilling a culture of achievement within my department. And I will always communicate effectively with internal project managers, the senior management team and also external stakeholders. I'm very passionate about my role as a business analyst and I feel strongly I can make a positive and long-lasting impact on your organization. Now, that's an in-depth answer. And the reason why I've created an in-depth one is because it's essentially two parts. It's a tell me about yourself and why you think you will be suited. Um, because that demonstrates some strengths in there as well. Um, some key attributes that you have that will enable you to perform highly as a business analyst. And you're going to be up against other people. So we need to have a positive hard-hitting answer to that first question. Second question of your business analyst interview. What are the most important skills of a business analyst and why? So what are the most important skills of a business analyst and why? Here we go. I believe there are eight core skills required of a successful and competent business analyst. These are an ability to liaise with key senior managers, directors and stakeholders to establish the predetermined objectives of the organisation. 
You need to hold your team and other departments accountable for their actions in respect of working towards the objectives defined in your business plan. You require keen analytical skills and also an ability to dissect information and data to help you achieve the key requirements of your plan based on risk versus benefits. You need an ability to build strong relationships with both internal team members and project managers, as without these relationships, you'll be constantly struggling. You need an ability to work collaboratively with external stakeholders also. You need to be capable of utilising project management skills and also an understanding of the project life cycle, as without these, you will not be able to achieve your objectives. You must also be able to multitask and manage numerous projects all at once. So as a business analyst, you cannot function competently without numerous and vast projects on the go all at once. And finally, a strong ability to follow processes and systems and encourage organisational departments to do the same is a must. A successful business requires systems and processes, and this is one thing I will look to develop in my role as your business analyst. What I like about that answer is you're focusing on eight specific things there which will be attractive to any employer. It does not matter which organization you're applying for um, to become a business analyst. Those will be attractive. And what I like about it as well is you are talking from a, a, a strategic level, if you like, with those words that I have highlighted in capitals. Next question, what's your understanding of gap analysis? So to be a competent business analyst, you need to have an understanding uh, understanding of gap analysis, what it is and how you utilize it. So here is my answer to that question. As a business analyst, it's important to have a clear understanding, clear understanding of how you can utilize it within an organization to essentially help achieve predetermined business goals or objectives. Now, gap analysis is a technique used to determine what steps a business or organization needs to take in order to move from their current situation to where they want to be in the future. For example, if an organization needs to improve efficiency and output with a view to increasing revenue and profitability, sorry, profitability, then the business analyst may decide to facilitate brainstorming sessions, interviews with key employees and managers, and also analyze key organizational information and data. Now, once this process has been completed, the business analyst will have sufficient details, data, and information to create a clear plan of action to overcome the challenges present, and more importantly, ensure the organization gets where it needs to be in order to achieve the desired objectives. So that's a great answer. It shows in detail that you understand what gap analysis is, and you give an example there of how you would use it. Now, if you want to stick around, I've got two more business analyst interview questions and answers to take you through, so please do stick around. But when you're ready, if you click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, to a page where you can download my full set of 25 business analyst interview questions and high scoring answers, including the ones that I'm going through right now. Next question. What are the different stages of a successful project? So I've mentioned earlier on at the beginning that you, you are not fully a project manager as a business analyst, but you need an understanding of project management skills and, and be able to use them within your role. There are six stages of a project you need to focus on in order to ensure it is successful. To begin with, there is the initiation stage. During this stage of a project, you need to define the reason for the project and also gain a clear purpose. This then enables you to work on the planning stage, which is where you would essentially map out what everyone needs to do in order to bring the project to a successful conclusion. The planning stage includes the team you will need, the resources you have to acquire, the action you will need to take, and also a timeline for completion. You would then move on to the development stage of the project, where you'll bring everything together, including the people, the resources, before providing them with a clear brief of what everyone needs to do. You would then move on to the implementation and testing stages of the project before finally finishing off with the closure stage. Now, the closure stage is where you would deliver the project and provide ongoing support if needed. And at the end of every project, it's also a good practice to look back at the lessons learned so you can continually learn, grow and develop as an organization. A solid answer that shows you understand the different stages of a successful project. Here's a tricky one. Describe a situation where you were struggling to meet an important project deadline. What did you do to resolve the situation? Here's my model answer. I was tasked with leading an important project for a previous employer with a very strict deadline. Early on during the project implementation stage, it became clear 
The two members of the team were struggling to meet their objectives. As soon as I identified the issue, I called a team meeting to establish the facts of the problem and also the reasons why they were unable to meet their goals. Now, it quickly became clear their experience in the required area was lacking despite me being given assurances they were up to the job. So I immediately sourced two replacement team members from different departments within the organisation and I briefed them on what needed to be done and by what time frame. The project was then successfully achieved on time and to specification. And once the project was over, I took the steps to facilitate suitable training for the initial two team members to make sure they were suitably equipped to participate in and complete future organisational projects. The, the beauty of that answer is you are tackling the immediate problem. So you're struggling to meet a deadline. You take immediate steps to resolve it. So that shows strength of character. It also shows leadership. Then what you do at the end, once your project's complete, you then look to facilitate the training of the, the initial two people to get them up to speed so you, they can then be used as resources in future projects. So that shows a level of intelligence um, and leadership skills as a business analyst. Now, if you want my 25, stick around, 25 business analyst interview questions and answers, if you click the link below the video or go to my website, passmainterview.com, it'll take you through to here. There are 25 business analyst interview questions and answers here. The five that I've just gone through plus another 20 on that page there. Um, so I suggest that you get a copy of those. There's also some tips on the page, five tips for passing your business analyst interview. You can read those as well. But those are the questions that I recommend you get because they're high scoring answers and it will put you ahead of the competition at your business analyst interview. Hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please do subscribe, as I mentioned. Don't forget to hit the like button. I very much appreciate that. I appreciate your support on my CareerVids YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a brilliant day. All the best.